This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to India Matters. Join me, Shruta Deb, as we explore the dark world of teenage crime, of children who come in conflict with the law. Also, an exclusive inside view of Delhi's observation homes, where pending an inquiry, juveniles are detained. These institutions are meant to provide sensitive handling of children and contribute to their reformation and rehabilitation. But do these institutions discharge their responsibilities? What is the crown reality? When we arrive at the capital's oldest observation home at Majnu Katila, we find it in the grip of its latest scandal. A departmental inquiry is underway. A 15-year-old boy has alleged he was intimidated and sodomized by six older children inside these toilets. The victim has now been transferred to another observation home for his safety. The six accused are segregated in this dormitory as extra guards keep a close watch. The common-run institution houses approximately 123 boys and earlier studies have found that exploitation and abuse of younger juveniles by older and violent juveniles rampant. Why has the observation home for juveniles, like many others, repeatedly failed to protect the younger boys? We speak to the inmates, the staff and experts to find out. The superintendent, who took charge barely eight months ago, has proceeded on leave. When we meet him, he is in his office, which is housed in a dilapidated building a short distance from the observation home. Monitor hinted us that some boys might be involved in sodomy, in act of uh, perpetrating sodomy. But who were they and who was the victim was not known. And uh, they were planning it in most, uh, uh, you, can say, you can say, a manner which was not known to us. We were just having watch. Usually we keep watch in dormitories where children sleep. Our caretaker awake whole night. Some of the monitors awake with the uh, caretaking staff. And you cannot find a single incident where, uh, in dormitories where we suspect that such thing might happen during the night. It never happens. But we found that a child, when the newcomers come, they try to make a uh, victim. And uh, we try to keep watch over the newcomers, whether they are under any stress. And uh, we encourage them to speak to uh, older boys, to speak to our duty officer, our care caretaking staff. If they are in dialogue, definitely they will come out if they are victimized in any uh, form. मेरे को रात में डाउट हुआ था इस बारे में फिर मैंने उस लड़के को पता चला था उस लड़के से इसलिए पूछा मैंने पूछताछ की उस लड़के से उस लड़के ने मेरे को नाम बताया कुछ कि 10-11 लड़के थे कुछ हो गए तो नाम कटवा दिए थे उस लड़के ने कि ये नहीं थे उल्टा काम नहीं किया था ये पांच छह लड़के थे जो छह इन्होंने उल्टा काम किया था उसके साथ द बॉय वन इंफॉर्मड अस आई इनकरेज द मॉनिटर टू ब्रिंग इट इन फॉर्मल वे and let us uh, get the child examined. And uh, the boy was referred to the doctor of our institution by me. And uh, he uh, observed that boy. He came to me. He discussed that there may be uh, some kind of you know, incident of uh, this nature. In his history, he gave yes about eight, 10 days back. There have been two instances where I have been sodomized. I asked him, why did you not come to us earlier? Didn't you sustain any injury? Didn't you get hurt? Was there no pain? Why didn't you come to us earlier? He said, I was afraid. I was afraid that those, those boys uh, had threatened me. They were trying to bully me. I was afraid. And so I, I kept it to myself. And now only I was uh, when I was assured by the monitor that uh, we will take care that no harm comes to you. That's why I have come to you. 
I examined the child and uh, it, number one, it being a case six, seven, maybe a week earlier, number two, not being a specialist in this regard, I thought that it is better to send him, to, to refer him to Hindu Rao Hospital for him to be to be uh, seen by a, to be, the, let the assessment be done by a, by an expert. पहली बार तो मैं उन्हीं के फट्टे पे था फट्टा मतलब जैसे हम वो फोल्डिंग को फट्टा बोलते हैं ना मैं उसके फट्टे पे था वो मेरे से कपड़े भी नहीं धुलवाता था मेरे भी अपने भी मेरे कपड़े भी किसी और से धुलवा देता था बर्तन भी मेरे झूठे थाले भी किसी और से मजवा देता था 